Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Well, it is morning here. I don't know about where you live. Today is Tuesday, actually. Today is my birthday. I'm 62 years old today. And my daughter and I are actually going to a brunch uh, for a Bible study that we've been doing with a group of ladies. And so I'm going to prepare a dish for that. She already got hers done and out of the way. She made monkey bread. I'm going to make a breakfast casserole. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. I need a couple of things here I forgot to lay out though. Okay. Well, trying to find a fork. I guess they are all in the dishwasher. Last night we haven't got that empty yet this morning. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a can of Grand's Biscuits, 16 ounce. Of course, it doesn't have to be that brand, Grand. I just use the Walmart brand. So that's, you know, the bigger biscuits, the 16 ounce ones. And you cut them up into um, six pieces. Now, let me show you how I cut them when I do it. I take two at a time. I cut those in half. Then I will cut each half into thirds. Then go ahead and separate those out. Or apart, I said out, my goodness, I'm in a part. You can tell I have not had caffeine yet this morning. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do like Coke. Give me a Coca-Cola and I'm happy in the mornings. And I have been actually been trying to cut down on those. Uh, so, and sometimes in the mornings I just, I'm awake and I'm alive, but I just, I love my Coca-Cola. Okay in half again, and I don't have me a bag here for trash this morning. Didn't get that done, so I'll just throw it over there in the sink for now. Then in thirds. That one was starting to stick together, thought I'd better go ahead and separate it. One, two, separate that, separate, separate. Okay, after we get them separated, we're going to take a nine by 13 uh, pan. Let's put that down a little. Check it. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands before I start it. Always, always wash your hands before you start cooking. Then you're just going to put these in this nine by 13 pan here, okay? Stick them in there. These are trying to stick back together on me. So are y'all having a good morning so far? Or I'm sure you're going to be watching this later. How's your day going? It's really nice and sunny here. I'm getting kind of homesick for my home. But I tell you, when I go back home, I sure will miss this weather. Until ours gets a little bit warmer there. Some of these I had cut a little earlier before I started video and they're starting to rise already. Okay. going to bring this closer to me here. I was going to go around to the side, but just bring it closer. Okay, just kind of spread them out a little to get them 
where you can get them all in here kind of even is what you want to do. Okay, even it out. All right, that looks about good like that. All right. Then next on top of that, we are going to place uh, hash browns. And I did not get those out of the freezer. And we want about a cup of hash browns. And, uh, let me see. She was cooking all night and making different things she was making. I'll show you the pretty cakes she made for me later. So we'll just kind of fill this one up. Not... It's going to be a little messy, and I know I just ripped the bag in the middle. I'm bad about that. But no matter what, it doesn't have a Ziploc, so it's going to have to go into a freezer bag. We want about a cup. And, okay, we got a little more than a cup, but that's going to be all right. So let's go ahead and sprinkle these over. Pick up our extra ones. It's going to be mixed in with some of the ham, but, you know, that's okay. We're just going to layer it some, and it's just going to all cook up together anyway when it cooks. Then after that, we just put the ham over it. I have, to tell you what I have, I have one pound of ham that I diced. Can you see that? Just diced it in little bite-sized pieces. So let's just sprinkle that all over with my arm up so I don't get my sleeve in there. even it out. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take five eggs and add to that one cup of, not one cup, I'm sorry, a half a cup of milk. Now, what I want to tell you, you could do this in a crock pot and just layer it like this. Do not use the milk though, okay? Just the eggs. No milk if you're going to put in a crock pot. Then you probably cook about an hour and a half to two hours. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of pepper. I'm not using salt because the ham has plenty of salt. Then also there's probably some sodium in the, uh, uh, and I got uh, the ham on my hands. So I better, not, I better wash that all off before I put that back together. But bef what I'm trying to say is there's probably sodium in the salt. Uh, my goodness, like I told you, it's still morning. Hash browns. Sodium in the hash browns and sodium in the eggs. And, you know, we really do in, in the cheese. So sodium's not something that we need a lot of. Uh, anyone who has high blood pressure definitely doesn't need it. Or, um, you know, my husband did, so I had to cut down salt. Then when uh, he went on, went into kidney failure and dialysis, we had to cut salt out just almost completely. We had to read labels and everything. So my uh, way of cooking back then had to change. Okay, we're going to, just going to beat the eggs and milk together. So 
Yeah, I kind of always had to watch some of the salt because my husband actually, even though he was uh, 24 when we got married, uh, he had high blood pressure even then. He was a crew chief on the old Huey helicopters. If you ever watched the movie, uh, or not the movie, the, well, it was a movie too, the television show MASH, you, those are Huey helicopters, and um, he was a crew chief on the UH-1H Hueys. And so whenever his blood pressure, if it was up, like he wasn't taking his medicine or missed a dose or something, and his blood pressure went up, well, he'd get grounded from flying. He wouldn't be able to fly. And he sure didn't like that. So he tried his best to make sure. Okay, next we're going to use two cups of the shredded cheddar cheese. And so that means we're going to use this whole bag. We're going to just sprinkle that all on top. And, you know, I said those in MASH were Hueys. They were Hueys. I don't remember if he told me, though, exactly, honestly, if they were the UH-1H Hueys, because there are a few different kinds of Hueys. But still, to me, they basically look all the same. All right, so we have that done. We are going to stick it into a 350-degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes um, until the eggs are set. So the main place you'll need to check is in the middle. Make sure that they are set in the middle. So I'll bring you back in a little bit, all right? And I forgot to say, yes, I am in my pajamas this morning. I have not started getting ready yet. I just got up and started cooking. So when I come back, hopefully I'll be dressed though, okay? Okay, y'all, I'm back. Let me turn you around and I'll show you the finished product, okay? All right, there you go. You can see the middle is kind of sunk in just a little bit, and that's because I put a spoon in there to check around, make sure that it was finished. All right, let me turn you around again. Okay, if you've never made one of these, try it. I'm sure you'll like it. Um, and remember, if you have not subscribed, to please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And remember to always season your cooking with love. So I'm off to the brunch, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.